Okay, well the first thing we're gonna do is pre-drill our box here, um, one hole, and then um, so we know we're about to where we want it, and then we're gonna drill the screw into here, or actually drill the hole into the mortar line, and then we're gonna mount this up with one screw, and then we're gonna drill the other hole here while it's mounted up, and put the other screw into there. So let's get started on that. Where I want it, all the way down. So I got the hole all drilled out. Next, we got to change bits and screw it up. Well, you can't really see too much from that angle. You kind of see I drilled, drilled my first hole right into that mortar line there. And, uh, it's gonna... and I went in kind of to the diagonally so I could get my drill in there. This should go right in. And there it is, as you can see, it's secured up by one screw. And uh, I'm going to put the other one here, and then here, and uh, one here, and then I'm going to go underneath it. Once I get this top one straight, I know it's a perfectly straight line, I'll put a level on it, get it nice and straight, and uh, uh, I'm going to put the next. Uh, batch underneath. But right now I'm only going to have four so I'm going to have three here and one here. And uh, I get started with the next, uh, stay started with the next hole and then the next one. Another thing what I wanted to mention is uh, as I'm going along here um, I'm taking some silicone caulk and I drilled a hole and then I put some silicone caulk in there and then when I mount this when I screw the, the screws into here, right in the back, the screws are actually going into silicone caulk, so it keeps it nice and sealed up for water. But I am above the, the, the ground line, which is probably right here. And um, so I don't have to worry about water too much, but you want to make sure that you know these are sealed up real good wherever you're putting the holes in. So silicone caulk seems to be good. And there it is. Um, I decided to put the fourth one right next to it because I had some room there. I figure I'm going to have quite a bit of quite a bit of switches there, so that's what I decided to do. And don't try to use any old drill bit to drill through that stuff. You got to get a masonry bit. Uh, hopefully, you already know that. And these blue screws here, um, about half inch in length and uh, should be good to go. Here's the masonry bit here. It's got the long shaft here. Um, use that to drill your holes. Other than that, that's what I got set up right now. And I'll show you the next step. And then, again, this is right next to my where my battery bank's going to be. So. That's my black that black wire you see right there. That's my main coming in as you've seen in a in the other video. I uh, just gotta get some more batteries, obviously. But that's how it's gonna be. They're gonna be switched here, and they're gonna turn these breakers on and off. Uh, get supplying them power, other than the main power coming in. So we turn this off and have this hooked up where this black wire is. Of course, make sure that switch is off while this one's on. Vice versa, turn this one off first and turn that one on first or second and you'll be um, using the power out of your battery bank. I'm going to show you how to do the rest of that in just a second. 
Another thing I also wanted to show you and point out was um, 12, I'm sorry, 14 to wire is all you're going to need for this because you're running one circuit um, for for each set of wire. So it's not like the regular house runs multiple ones. Um, so I use 14 to um, the white stuff. Seems to work good, $9.75 for 25 feet. And okay, so the next thing we're going to do is hook up the uh, plug for the power inverter. And uh, it's just two dollars and I think 97 cents a piece for a little bit heavier duty or plug. I don't like to use anything bottom line. So uh, you can get them cheaper than this, but these are the ones I use. So I'm going to show you how to wire this up and plug it into your inverter. So anyhow, this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's got the ground here. You're going to put your ground wire here. And then on this silver one, you're going to put your power. And on this one, you're going to put your neutral wire. I want to remind you too, when you take your plug apart, make sure you stick this end in here first. Because I had this hooked up already and I had to take it apart because I forgot to put this on first so don't do that <laughs> okay so I have my plug hooked up now let's we'll plug directly into the inverter okay now that it's in there as you can see it's plugged in the inverter behind it that's how it's going to be so this give me the shortest uh, amount of distance that I have to run then you're going to figure out then you're going to figure out where you're going to want it and how long the wire you want so take our wire it's going to get wired right into this first one here so but the white one is going to go into here along with the ground and the black one's going to go into here so this is going to be just enough so I want to give it at least another six inches. So there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just cut it here. And let me show you what I did here. I ran the wire that comes in uh, the box. And what you do is you feed it through the box. The way that these boxes are designed it doesn't sit flush against the wall here in the corners. So you'll be able to get these wires in there just fine. But anyway, splice the wire back. Careful not to cut any wires, but this black one, that's the only one you want to cut. You don't have to worry about the ground because it's going to be grounded right to the to the box. Um, and this white one, uh, you don't have to cut because that's going to be going right to the neutral side. So the other ones you want to worry about is this black one here. Cut it, strip it back, and put your switch in there. Okay, and there it is. Um, the switch is in place. This is going to turn on my solar for that one. I mean, my clean energy, which is wind right now. On. I'm sorry, on. And off. But before you do that, you want to make sure that whatever circuit you're using is turned off first. Uh, that, I can't stress how important that is. Because if you don't, you know, you can start a fire and burn your house down. That's the most important part. You can see I cut the wire a little too short. Um, it's okay because I, at the end I'm going to take it all, take this stuff apart, and I got to get a little bushing to hold all the wires in there, and I'll change it at that time. But right for now, it's going to be okay. And then what we're going to do is with this wire that you can see here we're just gonna silicone it down and then when you put the cover on you won't be able to see that wire and with the cover on too you could label it 